Okay, so let's talk about systems and control volumes, a little bit of definitions uh, so that we can uh, move on. Uh, we're going to be keeping track of a lot of energy, right? A lot of fluid that might be coming into and out of them. So we need to kind of define our boundaries, define our system. A system is a quantity of matter or a region in space chosen for study. Uh, so we have our system. So it might be, okay, this fluid right here, that is my system, but it could be uh, oh, this uh, tank, you know, this area, this volume is my system. So we've got a system, and we've got a boundary. This dotted line is our boundary. And whatever is outside of the boundary that is not inside our system, those are our surroundings. So just some definitions. All right, the system is the quantity, is what we're studying. The boundary separates the system from our surroundings. There are uh, three different types of systems we'll be looking at. An open system, mass can cross the boundary and energy can cross the boundary. So there, there could be fluid flowing in, in and out of the boundary. Oh, let me talk about this. Sorry, this boundary could be real or imaginary. You know, it could be a tank that has real walls, you know, uh, but it could just be that there, there is no real, you know, walls. Uh, so I've just got to say, okay, this, you know, imaginary dotted line is my boundary. Uh, because a lot of open systems, a lot, everything can cross the boundary. Mass can cross the boundary, and energy can cross the boundary. But a closed system, mass cannot cross the boundary, but energy can still cross the boundary. If something is closed, all right, you know, let's say we've got a, you know, refrigerator, or something. Let's say we've got something in a tank, um, and I've got it walled off, so nothing can go in or out. So mass cannot cross the boundary, but heat might could cross that boundary. There are definitely boundaries where heat and some energy can escape, or can we can heat it up, put a fire under it, and heat it up. So a closed system, mass can't cross the boundary, but energy can. Now, a very, very, very closed system is an, an isolated system. The isolated system, mass cannot cross and energy cannot cross. It is so well isolated uh, that nothing, not even energy, you can't even heat it up. Even if I put a fire underneath it, it's not going to heat it up. It's not going to cross our system. So, that can be helpful for us to, if we know, hey, it's a closed system, then I know, hey, there's no mass going in or out. Um, if, I, if I know it's isolated, there's no mass and there's no, not even heat, not even energy can go in or out. Uh, so just a few definitions that will be helpful when we start to, you know, summing our energy for all these different systems.